hello students welcome back now we are going to discuss about regarding polarization mode dispersion okay polarization mode dispersion okay so actually what is the polarization here okay so polarization refers that the electric field orientation of a light signal okay polarization refers as electric field orientation of a light signal so whenever we are passing a light through the optical fiber right that light is in the form of uh, light signal right and that that can form a electrical orientation okay electric field orientation right so here the polarization is nothing but the electric field orientation of a light signal fine so before going to this now about polarization di mode dispersion right first of all we have to know about birefringence okay what is the birefringence here that we have to know right so birefringence is nothing but the refraction of light in a material okay the refraction of a light in a material in two slightly different directions to form two rays okay the birefringence is nothing but the refraction of light in a material in two slightly different directions to form two rays okay so for example if we take the calcite calcite material so for the which we, if we pass a light over there right then that will divide it into two rays here okay so that is the example for birefringence for a calcite we are pa passing a light over there right so whenever we pass the light to the calcite then that will divide the light into two rays okay that process is called as here by birefringence so once again i am repeating you the birefringence is nothing but the refraction of light in a material in two slightly different directions okay to form two rays okay that is called as the birefringence here now coming to this polarization mode dispersion right there are the effects of birefringence on the polarization states of an optical signal or another source of pulse broadening okay by this birefringence okay by this birefringence effect on the polarization states of an optical signal that can result the pulse broadening okay actually we know the dispersion is nothing but here pulse broadening okay here the pulse polarization mode dispersion occurs from birefringence effects on optical signal right so by which we can get the polarization mode dispersion so actually this birefringence can result from the intrinsic factors such as geometric irregularities of the fiber okay birefringence can result from intrinsic factors such as geometric irregularities of the fiber core or the internal stresses on the fiber fiber right way so birefringence can result from the intrinsic factors such as the geometric irregularities of the fiber core or the internal stresses on it next it also occurs from the external factors such as bending already we discussed the bending losses right micro bending and macro bending losses right so the external factors such as bending twisting of fibers or pinching of the fiber can also lead to this birefringence okay birefringence can occur from external fiber factors also that are from bending of fibers or twisting of fiber or pinching of the fiber that can lead to birefringence okay and these birefringence affects on the optical signal that is the polarization states of the optical signal right and that can result the pulse broadening okay by which we can get the dispersion that dispersion is called as polarization mode dispersion right so just now we told you uh, polarization refers referred as electric field orientation of a light signal that can vary along a length of the fiber okay the polarization will be varies along the length of the fiber okay next 
whatever we are passing the signal through the optical fiber right that signal energy at a given wavelength okay that signal ray energy with at a given wavelength occupies two orthogonal polarizations okay the signal which is passing through the optical fiber at a given wavelength occupies the two orthogonal polarization modes okay if next here the varying birefringence okay varying birefringence along its length it will cause the polarization mode to travel at a slightly different velocities okay already the optical fiber is having electric or light signal right and that can cause two polarization modes here right so because of this varying birefringence those two polarization modes will be varies with different velocities right the resulting difference in propagation times okay the resulting difference in a propagation times that is delta t pmd okay delta t pmd that is the polarization mode dispersion time between two these orthogonal polarization modes will be result in pulse broadening okay these two polarization modes are having different uh, velocities right then at that time the period okay whatever the propagation period that is the delta t pmd right that is the period between the two orthogonal polarization mode will result in pulse broadening okay this pulse uh, spreading or pulse broadening is called as the polarization mode dispersion next if the group velocities are having these polarization modes are of vgx and vgy respectively right if the two group velocities that are the vgx and vgy of the two polarization modes then the differential time delay okay the differential time delay of this polarization mode dispersion between two polarization modes okay that can be given as delta tau pmd right delta tau pmd is equal to l by vgx minus l by vgy okay so here vgx and vgy are the velocities of two pro polarization modes okay and here it is uh, polarization mode dispersion time delay right between two or two polarization modes and l is the length of the fiber fine so this one is the equation for the time between the two polarization modes that is the delta t tpmd that is equal to l by vgx minus l by vgy okay next already we discussed regarding uh, chromatic dispersion that is intramodal dispersion right that is a relatively stable along a fiber okay chromatic dispersion or intramodal dispersion is a relatively stable along this length of the fiber but whereas this polarization mode dispersion varies randomly along a fiber okay the intramodal dispersion is relatively stable in the fiber but whereas this polarization mode dispersion varies randomly along this fiber next the reason for this is that the birefringence effect vary with the temperature and stress dynamics okay the reason for this is the birefringence effects vary with the temperature and stress dynamics okay so that this uh, delta pmd delta t pmd equation cannot be used directly okay instead of that we have to take the statistical estimations okay to start the we have to take the statistical estimations to account these type of effects right next the polarization mode dispersion is characterized in terms of the mean value of the differential group delay okay the polarization mode dispersion is is characterized in terms of mean value of the differential group delay so that can be calculated according to this equation okay delta t pmd is equal to d capital d that is polarization mode dispersion right so it is it is the average polarization mode dispersion parameter okay dpmd is the average mode 
एवरेज पोलराइजेशन मोड डिस्पर्शन पैरामीटर ओके सो दट इज द इक्वेशन एफ डेल्टा टी पी एम डी दट इज अप्रॉक्सिमेटली इक्वल टू कैपिटल डी पी एम डी दट इज रूट ऑफ यल ओके सो इट इज मेजर्ड इन पीको सेकेंड्स पर रूट ऑफ किलोमीटर ओके डी पी एम डी कैन बी मेजर्ड इन पीको सेकेंड्स पर रूट ऑफ किलोमीटर सो दट इज द एवरेज पोलराइजेशन मोड डिस्पर्शन पैरामीटर ओके so just now we discussed regarding polarization mode na no? right so here we are having the fast mode and slow mode so this one is of fast mode and slow mode so we are having two polarization modes here so this one is of the two orthogonal polarization modes right so whenever we are passing this uh, modes along this length of the fiber right there will be slightly delay will be occurred because of this fast mode and slow modes right so this one is of the time delay here right so that is delta tpmd that can be given as uh, l in terms of l okay that is l by vgx minus l by vg by okay and that is also approximately equal to dpmd that is the average polarization mode dispersion parameter right so this one is of the time delay here between these two polarization modes that is the slow mode and fast mode okay so this one is the figure for the two orthogonal polarization modes right so that's why here the birefringence effects okay whatever the birefringence effects that will be occurred on the fiber so because of this the polarization mode dispersion will be occurred okay so by the birefringence what is the birefringence here the refraction of light in a material in two slightly different directions to form two rays here for example the material calcite here so this kind this uh, this polarization mode dispersion occurs because of this birefringence effects okay so that is regarding polarization mode dispersion okay thank you all thank you